When it comes to the challenges facing this area's poor and less fortunate, it would be hard to find a better authority than tonight's newsmaker. Just a few days ago, Michelle Gathers Clark started a new job as chief diversity officer for Visa based in San Francisco, but she's still working here remotely and I wanted to tap into her expertise before she left. You see, for the last eight years, She's been the president and CEO of the United Way of Greater Greensboro, an organization she transformed to accomplish something many would call impossible. No doubt Greensboro looks like a flourishing city, and in many areas it is. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have its challenges. Just ask Michelle Gathers Clark. You believe poverty is Greensboro's most critical issue right now. Why? Poverty is the critical issue because when we actually look at root causes of why people are hungry, why people are homeless, why people are unemployed, why people are dropping out of school, we come to a common ground, which is the manifestation of the inequity in our community that has resulted in some families actually not being able to participate in the formal economy. In fact, at least 57,000 people in Greensboro live in poverty. That's more than the surrounding populations of Colfax, Oak Ridge, Summerfield, Brown Summit, McLeansville, and Pleasant Garden combined. I've asked a lot of city leaders what is Greensboro's most critical issue and they've consistently said affordable and safe housing but you you say it, it's poverty and it is not that that is not the issue right. it is the most visible issue right see because a lack of housing is very visible but when you ask yourself why aren't people housed they're in poverty they don't have the money to pay the rent if the outgoing president of the United Way of Greater Greensboro sounds passionate about eliminating poverty, there's a reason. So I was born into generational poverty, um, but afforded the opportunity to go to college, afforded the opportunity to reach my full potential because a community came together and helped me. It's also why, under Gathers Clark's leadership, the Greensboro United Way transformed its business model. It now only supports financially local charitable organizations or partners as it calls them if they can prove the work they're doing will help end poverty that's right i said end poverty gathers clark believes this is working and the united way has the statistics to prove it what is the biggest misconception people have about poverty based on what you've seen in your work with the united way people believe that people in poverty are lazy and don't work do you know that most people in poverty work and they work really hard? The challenge is, is that their wages are too low yes. in order for them to come out of poverty. So we need to make room so that people can leave poverty. But Greensboro, like many cities, is still divided in many ways, racially, culturally, financially, and religiously. So the reality is, in order for us to eliminate poverty, there has to be a reconciliation of our community as it relates to race and identity. Because often we minimize people or we maximize people based on the color of our skin and not our unique and individual identity. And you see, identity is what makes America great. To those who may be watching this and say to you, come on, you'll never eliminate poverty. There will always be poor among us. What say you? I say the poor will always be among us, but they don't have to be 57,000 of them. How will you tell when we eliminate poverty? What will that number have to go down to? Poverty will never be zero. But I believe that Greensboro, North Carolina can be the first southeastern city to eradicate poverty in the neighborhood of 50, 60, 70 percent. And that's what, where we have to go in order for it to be material. Greensboro, North Carolina has all of the key ingredients to actually address the root causes of poverty. We have to bring it together. We've got to honor our shared humanity to do it. How do we galvanize all these resources to do it? And so the message that I leave is 
we are better together oh, and we go. can do this. It is doable. She mentioned the city has the ingredients to do it. Those ingredients, she says, are the extraordinary leaders, the city's philanthropic spirit, spirit and some of the greatest educational institutions in the country. Special gifts don't hurt either, especially the surprise $10 million grant the Greensboro United Way got recently from philanthropist Mackenzie Scott. The first $1 million of that will go to organizations that come up with innovative solutions to address the city's housing disparities as part of its overall initiative to end poverty. Stay tuned.